Welcome to the art department at Loretto, a purpose-built block for all things creative, including textiles, art and photography, built around the original chapel on campus. Let's head off and see what's going on. To the basement people, to the basement, many surprises await you. In the basement people. Hi, I'm Mrs Turner, welcome to Fine Art. You were the last time, you know we're gonna find you. Sick in the car, sick as you're not. Here in the art room, students explore a range of materials and mediums such as painting, drawing and printmaking. During the first year, students complete an induction project which helps them to explore different techniques and discover what kind of artist they are, which is important in the second year where students go down their own creative path and perfect their skills to complete a project of their own choice. Fine art is different to all of the other art subjects available at Loretto as it is a traditional approach which is particularly varied, allowing for all styles and techniques to be used. I saw the range of work on display and I saw that I could really express my personality in art. So I was just going to landscape architecture and design and art was like a core subject that I would need. Just from the first day, just the help that the teachers have offered us, they've given us facilities like to be able to use computers in and out of lesson. I appreciate the effort that they put in to make sure that their students are also enjoying the subject as well as getting a lot of work done. Let's put the stars to photography. Hi, my name is Miss Dean. I teach photography here at Loretto College and I also teach graphic design. We're really looking forward to having you here, finding out more about the subject. The first thing you notice about photography at Loretto is the extent of facilities available to students, including two large Mac suites, including the latest versions of Adobe Photoshop and Lightroom. For students looking to explore and experiment with more traditional imaging using film and photo paper, there is also a dark room. Next to the dark room, there is a studio which students can book out whenever they would like, which features gorgeous natural lighting. I chose um, photography because it's very different from my very heavy academic subjects. So when you can loan a camera out, that's when you can go out. Plus, the school's near the city centre, so when you can go out and take pictures that are beautiful quality with the cameras. When I went to other colleges, it seemed more bland, serious, very dramatic, but I just wanted to express some form of creative freedom. There's so much to explore and learn and just to delve deep into the world of photography. I just love it. So. And I like like looking at the processes and like what makes a good image. Similar to the other art subjects, photography students are presented with a wide range of imaging techniques and styles within the first year. Students use these skills and styles they have particularly enjoyed in the first year and translate these to their own specialised project.
Hi, I'm Miss Walsh. Welcome to Textile Design. In the textile studio, students have access to a long list of equipment and materials, including the sewing machine, heat press and a fabric printer. The techniques that students learn in textiles are highly varied, with them being taught both new ways of working and traditional methods, such as Suffolk puffs, embroidery and pattern cutting. All of these techniques are combined as students work both with traditional sample making in their sketchbook, which is complemented by the online portfolio that students also produce during lessons. Not all textile students pick the subject for its typically fashion-centred career path. Many students interested in the medical field, such as dentistry, where dexterity skills are essential to their success, choose textiles in order to fine-tune their precision and skill work on a small scale which requires concentration and focus. I like textiles because it's more personal than my other academic subjects. I like textiles because it's really practical and we get to learn a lot of new skills. I really like the fact that we can document our work in a sketchbook and an online blog. Now for 3D design, so let's look across the EK building. Hi, I'm Mr Buckley, welcome to 3D. My favourite thing about 3D design is how adaptable everything is, uh, where there's multiple materials and methods of making the work you need to do. I very commonly use the laser cutter in uh, 3D design because it helps with those that aren't very uh, proficient with handwork but are very good with computer work. We have a combination between the forms of what we do at work. So we have a Weebly which is a digital website where we log all of our work and we write about it and teachers can give us feedback. I chose Art and DTG CSA and I thought it would really amplify my creative skills and it really has done. Also Loretto is the only college that does 3D design so it was really crucial that I came to Loretto for 3D. I chose 3D because I wanted to do architecture in uni. We have specialists as well so ceramics, laser cutting or paper for example. It kind of gives you like a head start. In the first term of 3D design, students will experiment with a range of materials and techniques. These include paper and cardboard modelling, sculpting with porcelain and clay and using CAD design packages so that ideas and outcomes can be produced on a laser cutter or a 3D printer. Students will also have the opportunity to use the various woodworking machinery and spray booths. On completion of the first term, students will then begin their personal investigation where they undertake a project using materials of their choice. Students studying 3D design often progress on to various design courses at university such as architecture, engineering, product design and interior design. I chose 3D design because I was interested in doing an A level with coursework and I've got an interest in going into engineering. There's lots of great facilities here, you've got lots of help from all the technicians, the teachers and other students as well. And last but certainly not least, graphic design. Hi, welcome to Graphics, I'm Mr Traher. always been attracted to graphic design. I like my drawing. Uh, I wanted to try it on like a digital platform. Got lots of uh, facilities for us to experiment on, like the Macs, the Wacom tablets. And I've seen like um, the quality of work they've always produced. The teachers' software that then can be brought into uni courses. I do three art subjects and I'm always in the same area. I wanted it to be a creative environment and it's very easy going. Would you like to go with me? 
uh, after Loretta, I want to go into Unity study web design, and uh, I feel like uh, the college has prepared us. Graphics, like photography, is a subject which has more and more students every year due to the importance of graphic design in the visual age. Almost everything you see has been designed to some degree, and so the subject is possibly the best guarantee of a job within the arts. Students explore both traditional techniques such as printmaking and illustration, yet these are intertwined with contemporary digital vector art which is completed in the state of the art Mac suite with access to the Adobe suite including Illustrator, Photoshop and InDesign. The most popular aspirations for our graphic students include children's book illustrators, advertisement editorial designers and animation. Finally, additional to all of the art subjects, students have plenty of opportunities for enrichment. You could join the Arts Collective where students sell work at markets and exhibitions, Photography Society and various trips around the world including New York, Berlin and Krakow. The college also goes on many trips closer to home including the local Manchester area and art galleries in the city centre. The department also has three technicians that additionally help both the running of the department and the students in their specialist areas. These include portfolio sessions in preparation for university applications and specialised workshops such as screen printing and ceramic specialists. The teachers and staff at Loretto are helpful and have a wide range of skills and knowledge to help you pursue a career in the art and design industry. We hope to see you soon and welcome you to the college. Bye! Thank you.